This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4, verse 16. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Verse 17, that they may want bread and water and be astounded one with another and consume away for their iniquity. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohalayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachaka, that's what the Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do real well. Peace and salutations to the occupant across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Um, Shalom to the Akwat and Yakima to listen and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming to another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And basically, um, I got an article on my news break at, no, this is on, out of RT. So, um, and talking about the coming times um, ahead, it's funny because I was just listening to Dave Hodges on the Common Sense Show, and he was going into all this, you know. Um, then I did a video earlier talking about how um, a lot of these restaurants, as far as these um, Wendy's, McDonald's, these fast food chains, are basically having to show, slow down, um, like closed dining areas because, they don't have a, they're understaffed basically. So that's all going to lead to um, a famine, you know, um, you know, because if these people, these places can't operate, you know, then that stops people from actually um, getting food, you know. But not only that, the price of goods is going up as well, you know what I mean? Um, because of, you got shrinkflation, um, you know, again, because it's less workers, um, uh, just everything is, um, Becoming more expensive, you know, um, those trailers that um, are at sea, you know, um, how goods are shipped, you know, then eventually um, truckers, you know, transport them, you know, uh, being that those trailers are, are costing more money, the price of goods are, are more expensive. And, and again, like I say, all this was foretold and spoken of in the scriptures, you know, a lack of bread, a famine. Um, that's how you would know the times you were in. It tells you in the book of Second Ezra about uh, measuring out the times diligently. It tells you... Um, in the book of Habakkuk, uh, 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 mark the, um, make them plainly upon tables, roughly paraphrased. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. Um, it says, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Um, you, mean, you know, you're seeing um, signs in the heavens with the, the blood moons and the eclipses and, you know, just um, different um, celestial activity. Uh, as well as signs on the earth, you know, um, literally, I did a video about how they was talking about in the Dead Sea, in the area of the Dead Sea, the water became red as if, like, um, um, like, as if, like, you know, and the scriptures talk about that. Um, so, yeah, we living in some amazing times. So, not to digress, um, this is, isn't going to be very long. Um, so it says, high food prices are here to stay. Kraft Heinz. Consumers will have to get used to increasing food prices as pandemic shaken economies and the global energy crunch have placed an enormous burden on the fruit on the world's food producers. Kraft Heinz CEO Miguel Patricio has warned. Patricio admitted that the world's fifth largest food and beverage company has been raising prices of such products as ketchup and baked beans when necessary around the world. Kraft Heinz has reportedly increased prices for more than half of its products in the U.S. The um, company's home market and expects to do the same elsewhere. Now, basically, like I said, they're increasing the, the cost of these goods because, like I said, to still turn a profit. Um, but eventually, the increase in goods, somebody's not going to be able to afford those, those goods. And then what will you have? That's when you're going to have um, all out chaos because, you know, um, it's only a few things people lose it after, you know, people were able to actually deal with the pandemic because of the fact that, you know, you still could go out and shop. You still, could, you know, what I mean, you know, you know, the government basically um, was keeping the economy going by all this stimulus money, you know, and uh, so people wasn't really paying attention to what was going on because of the fact, like I said, you had Jake, they was able to, you know. I mean, I heard people talking about like, uh, like a certain, uh, like Pizza Hut, what Pizza Hut and whatnot. You know, I was talking about how people was, uh, they was having their best weekends because people was just buying frivolous shit like 
pizza. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing wrong with treating yourself or your family um, every once in a while. But, you know, like I said, Jake really didn't do anything worthwhile with the money. They didn't stack up on any food. They didn't stack on any provisions, um, you know, um, for future dating. And we all know uh, that literally... Uh, you know, we can't put our trust in um, these carnal things, but at the same time, if you can afford to get a uh, extra bag of rice or a couple extra packs of meat, you know, um, why not? You know, I was listening to Elder Malcolm and he was going into a video. He said basically on the amount of goods he had paid, he, he, the goods came up to like $70. He said he had three pieces of salmon. He said the brother got like two pieces of jerk chicken. They both got rice. I think he said pomegranate juice and maybe like, one or two other things, like some bottled water or something. He said it came up to seventy dollars. So you know, and Elder Malcolm is um, located Midwest. So if the price of goods is going up, and you know, this this is going this is going to be um, deemed a dark winter for a reason. You know what I mean? Like all by design. You know, but Salakia it says. Uh, Kraft Heinz has reportedly increased prices for more than half of its products in the U.S. The company's home market expects to do the same elsewhere. The warning comes shortly after the U.N. Food and Agriculture Organization reported that the cost of ingredients, including cereals and oils, has pushed global food prices to a 10-year high. Patricio highlighted that inflation was across the board up like Unlike in previous years, production of raw materials across the world, ranging from crops to vegetable oils, saw a dramatic decline as the CV, CV pandemic limited both output and delivery due to the rise of infections and measures to control the spread. When the uh, rollout allowed economies to reopen and restarted supply failed to keep up with the sharply increasing demand. Right. Because you got to remember, like, um, with certain things, how they ran out of... Um, uh, What's that shit called? Um, um, hand sanitizer, you know what I mean? Or tissue, you know what I mean? Then they, those things have to be restocked. You know, um, so the, basically the supply chain was broken because of that. You know what I mean? When people bought up all, just like with the gas, you know, when people out of panic buying bought up all the gas and bought up all the, the tissue and bought up all, you know what I mean? Like that left for uh you know it's a chain because it's linked together and being like i said that's why you're seeing certain places where the, they um normally you'll see like every week like like for instance i, I shop at all these a lot all these um particularly like it's particularly the same brands a lot but during um the pandemic i watched certain brands of certain um food actually disappear corned beef they just now started getting corned beef again because like i, I guess the supply chain was broken because, uh, you know, you got to remember, the, um, they euthanized a lot of the cows and the pigs. And so, you know, being that when they had that gap of this particular um, corned beef and stock, it was out of stock for like three, four months. That was a break in the supply chain. And and, and now that they got the corned beef back, it's way more expensive as well. You know, man, you I might can find a, a corned beef brisket for $10, $12. Now, you know, uh, the same size, small one, $10, $12 is like, like $15, almost $20. Specifically in the UK, with the lack of truck drivers in the US, logic, log, logistics costs also increased substantially, and there's a shortage of labor in certain areas of the economy. He stressed that not all cost increases could be passed on to the consumers, with manufacturers expected to absorb some of the costs. I think it's up to us and the industry to the other companies to try to minimize these price increases, he said, adding that there's a lot of lot to come in technology to improve the effectiveness of farmers that would help in the longer term. So they saying all that to say this that basically the price of or of goods is, is 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 about to go up. So um uh, and being that those price of goods is about to go up, then therefore it's going to produce a famine for some, you know, because everybody, you know what I mean? You know, that's just like for instance, you may have I mean when the, the way inflation sets in, you know, like you may have the money to purchase some they don't have the product. You know, you know, uh, it's it's more demand for the product than it is product. So that's a, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have the resources to purchase. It means they don't don't have the resources to provide. You get what I'm saying? Because it's you know it's a lack thereof of quantity of goods. So like I said again, you could have the 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 the, the um the the the, 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 the means. You could have the money. 
but you know they might not like like I said again when people was um, during the pandemic when people were trying to purchase um, hand sanitizer or Lysol or tissue, you know people had the money to purchase it, but it was the product wasn't in place. They didn't have the product. So like I said again, it orchestrated famine. Um, let me get this. This is Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter six verse twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Which you say um, from that article how they they was in in a, in a supermarket and the aisles was empty. You know, I listened to the brother uh, whose channel is Bakoramoff a lot. And he's saying how they're going in the stores up there because they in, in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area, you know, and they're saying that a lot of that stuff is um a, like a lot of the shelves is empty up there, bare. So, you know, um, so I'm going to end with this scripture because, like I said, this is part of prophecy. Second Ezra chapter 9, beginning at verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou, well, it's like it, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Verse 5, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So, God, um, he's, he's getting to see the end. <laughs> you know, these days that was written before um, for our learning, that which are were prophesied in the scriptures take place. Um, you're seeing them manifest, you know. Um, so if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, Seminole, Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, to the statutes, and to the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah or be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohal Loyim, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rachagalas with them. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives on the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord, willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to the truth to the USA. Shalom. Until next time, I'm ready to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom. And Wath Lapa Ball. Shalom.